So we can still be a high schooler. Yeah, so we can still be a high schooler. So we can still be a high schooler. So we can still be a high schooler. So we can still dito sa condo natin pero di pa tayo nagkakilala ako pa si Hi. Denise Richard Richard yeah. Hi. nice to meet you nice to meet you wala wala bored lang ako kaya muni muni muna daming big misip eh ako din di ako makatulog eh gutom ka ba? medyo ako din eh gusto mo midnight snack muna tayo pwede sige may treat ako para sa'yo just clap your hands on three one two three tada oh my god wow perfect midnight snack we got um, some Hong Kong style Chinese food Perfect. just for you. Because I magically did some research. Tung nagkilap ako in those milliseconds alaman ko that you're actually from Hong Kong. Yes, that's where I so, grew up. I spent 18, 18 years of my, my life, life there. I grew up there, spent 18 years there before I moved back to the Philippines. So, yeah. did I do good? Did I get everything that you might like? We got some mommy, I think is what you noodle soup. Noodle soup, yep. Uh, beef, brisket. beef brisket. We got yeah. some dumplings and this some char siu. So Did I say that correctly? Char siu, yes. Char siu. Char siu. I think. Or, uh, <laughs> ano naman tawag dito ulit? Asado. Asado, or, 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 yes. Asado, yeah. And then tofu and some pork. So yeah, I hope you like to read some kropek, which I love. But yeah, before we start, if you don't mind, let's start with... Ay, ayun, may soju pa pala uh -huh. tayo. I didn't know. So, if not soju, because soju is Korean, what is an alcohol that you guys love to drink that's solely from Hong Kong? I mean, soju is a good choice. I mean, usually we drink without the flavor one, but all. We do have. Let's clap our hands on three. One, two, three. Ta da! I am See? So, you bought it earlier? Wala, oh, that disappeared. Ayan, 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 <laughs> exactly. So, this you know, here at D Night, we try to keep our guests really, really happy mm -hmm. and give them everything that they want and try to be as thoughtful as possible. Kasi para ka na rin pumupunta sa bahay ko. Tama. Right? I think for request, he wanted a bigger shot glass. So, for. I didn't say that. Whoa! No, I don't know. So, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to Let me pour for you. Cause... No, okay, no. Ako yung tanggero lagi. Ah, sige, sige, sige. So, do we go like full shot? First round, full shot. Shot po, no. Okay, Tama, sige. Shot Ginusto mo yan, ha? Are you, oh, thank you. Are you a heavy drinker? No. Like, you can last long in a drinking? No, I don't drink at all. Ooh, what is sorry. drinking? First time ko lang to. Para sa you. Wow! Uy, marunong din siya mag-bola. Okay. Well, Cheers. Cheers. Wait! A good okay. word for our, our night tonight. Uh, for tonight, it's all about chikahan, chill, enjoy, have fun, uh, nothing too crazy. <laughs> chill lang naman tayo, kaya <laughs> chan, chan, chan. Chan! Whew! Good, good night. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the end of the episode tonight, yeah, so good night, everybody. I'm just kidding. So to get us all um, vulnerable next. <laughs> vulnerable. vulnerable. To get us all like unguarded and relaxed, let's play a quick drinking game while eating just so we can get you know our energy up real quick before i dive into that mind of yours there's drinking game there is drinking game drink lang tayo ng drink okay yun pala gusto niya oh mga tayo mga game muna tayo mga game muna tayo here this is for you you can pick one while bearing okay it says drink one assign one assign two well there's only two of us so maybe let's just make that drink two what does that mean Drink two shots. So drink oh. one shot. And then if it's a sign one, you can either take Ikaw the na. shot or okay. have me do it or I can have okay. you do it. Or, or we can have one of them do it. Just kidding. <laughs> 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 gentle. Yeah. Gentle hands up. <gasps> drink one! So, okay, no. Yay! Shot for now. Kanina, first round on yung shot for now. 
shot ka natin. Oh, so, uh, ginusto mo kasi yung malaking shot, shot glass. Natin Dapat natin. inaccept mo na lang yung cute na shot glass na binigay ko sa iyo kanina. <laughs> Hindi ako yan, ikaw nang sabi na full glass, ano ba? Malaki. <gasps> Guys, headline. Richard wants life. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a Sarah. Right. Just kidding. All right, so my turn. That's you. You can get your ball bearing back. Jetta. Yeah. A sign on. <laughs> a baby sh uh, half of a half. Oh, you know, half of Half of a half. I'm, uh, I'm not Madaya, so. Uy! And his is the original non favorite. All right. Okay, game. Game. I think now we're. Slightly warmed up. Slightly warmed up. We can also enjoy our noodles. I have some questions for you. I have some questions for you too. Go, ask away. So you're going to start. Ah, sorry. All right. So, you know, one of the things that drew me to wanting to get to know you is you're an actor, you're a host, you're an influencer, you're very athletic you're also at events a lot you also have your own businesses Robin, no man. businesses Robin, no man, the way no. you describe me no you're you you have a lot of hats on so paano mo ba binabalance yung life mo syempre you seem so happy and healthy a lot of the times people when they have a lot of things diba yeah. na haggard na kami <laughs> but uh, you look, you uh, look so fresh. Go, fresh uh, man tayo. Oh oh. We're not going to have a noodle much in that. Slightly, but okay. No, no. What the guys are doing? What was the question again? Na distract kami sa noodles kasi guys sa dalio. Yeah, how do I manage my time? Um, the honestly, kasi para sa akin, like it's all about. I'll help you now. No, no, it's all about time management. Kasi I'll wake up and then I'll be like, okay, from nine to nine fifteen, I'll have it's my fifteen minute of like getting ready, yes, shower. Yeah. Meditation. Med Any more meditation? Kulang naman yung 15 minutes of meditation. Wait, what? 10 minutes, minutes NSDR. Ano nyan? Non-negotiable. I'd be like, make sure I'm ready to like work and you know, do like my CEO stuff, and then. Uh, ang ang angas, my CEO stuff. Wala na ang angas. One day, guys, ako din. You know, do it. Like so that's how I manage everything. At the same time, of course, I have a very good team that can help me manage my different stuff. Then, kasi again. You cannot do everything by yourself. On your own. Yeah. Oh, team D. Kailangan may team talaga. Yeah. And then that's what I learned in the last two, three years. Na parang like I always, I'm because I'm someone that's very hands on. Eh. Like, Same. I wanna do the ah, tree. I feel like don't tayo magkabay. That's the only. Because <laughs> like I feel like kung hindi ko hands on, hindi nung dalang makukuwa yung hundred percent. Yeah, and it's me. not completely. I mean, it's not. It doesn't have your touch. It doesn't yeah. have you in it. But that's the thing. Like being a CEO technically now for two years, I realized I need to know how to delegate to people. You have to you have to trust your team. Mm -hmm. You have to choose the right team to be like, hey, they can do they can do whatever you want, but as long as it's close to what you want, that's you know, important. And, and then sometimes you shot. learn that there's something new yes. that you didn't yes. see, right? Yes. I learn from my my team all the time, and it's it's nice yeah. to know that you know I, I get other info that I Correct. can't see. Um, but since you have a time limit for you know starting work, what about ending work? Oh, I that's the thing. Like I usually end at. My day usually ends at 3 a.m. What? Wait, yeah. Let me count. How many hours of sleep is that? Six. On the weekday. On the weekday. What's your weekend like? Um, my weekend is where I will wake up late, siguro mga 11 a.m. Mm, parang parang, parang yung pahinga ako. I try to fill up the fun stuff. Where mm -hmm. I What's out, fun? What's go fun? Go out, meet my friends, hang out, play golf, Ooh. play football. Football I haven't played for like three years now because of football. Pandemic. Um, so for here in the Philippines, it's as in soccer, football. soccer, football, not yes. not the hand egg. Yes, not, not hand American egg. football. Hand, hand egg. egg, hand <laughs> egg. I mean, it looks like an egg, and you use yes. your hand, so it's a hand yeah, egg. Yeah, hand egg. You can also tell when people are athletic because of you know the confidence that they bring or the outlook of how they take challenges yeah. as well. And I, I can sense that from you. So, as, yeah, because it's also. Like, <laughs> it's also like how you segregate your time, right? Mm. What happens to you when you don't get your time the way that you want it? What's Richard frustrated like? Your question is, what am I like when I'm frustrated? Mm -hmm. That's a funny thing. Like, I'm a very, I'm usually a very calm person, mm -hmm. um, and that's what my business partner. I tell my business partner all the time, when I'm frustrated, when I'm annoyed, when I'm when I panic, that's when you need to panic. Because like this is legit a problem that yeah, we that I don't means, know what to do. Yeah, with. exactly. Because we'll try and do whatever yeah. we can and hangat kaya natin. Yeah, my threshold for like 
not figuring things out is quite high in the sense mm-hmm. that I usually know what to do if there's a problem. But when when yeah, when things get frustrating, when I don't know what's happening, what to do next, I usually just go to sleep. I go to sleep. Tulog pa lang katapat. Hindi kasi totoo kasi parang like to refresh your mind. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I mean like going to sleep is more of parang like you know how like computers you have to restart and start working. True. So pag tulog gising next day, okay. Sige, oh, alam mo bagong, na. Bagong bagong uh, ano? Bagong, bagong laban araw. Naman, bagong araw. Bagong laban. And another chance to give your best. Yeah. Exactly. I'm the type of person kasi din na I. I don't like fighting losing battles. Mm. If I know na parang there's, there's no, no chance. chance, why waste time? They always say about like with poker, the ba yung totoong player no, talaga. Yeah. I don't know how just a little bit, okay. but they always have this saying that real players or real champions know when to fold yes. without any regrets. Regret. Yes. <laughs> Hashtag no regrets. Ang hirap yun na. Ang hirap yun. No when to say you know what I'm humble enough and open enough to say. I can't, I can't do this, mm. and it's it's alright. You have compassion for yourself and know that you're not perfect. And you right? know when to go all in, then. Tama. Uh, and I'm, you know, Yung going all in. <laughs> Ganin ka din ba sa pag-ibig? All Uy, in. Dun tayo agad agad sa pag-ibig. Oh, nakita ko lang kasi. Magshot ka naman mo na siguro. Oh, magshot pa tayo. Kasi magshot. Nee, ikaw mo na magshot kasi kanina pa wala ng ano. Ganin talaga winner ako. Jalil. Oh, si Bato Bato pick. Pagtalo ka yun. Pagtalo ka inumga. Pagpanalo ako inumga. Okay. Wala na, wala na. Hindi na-gets. Pag panalo ako, inom ka. Pag panalo. Ano ba? Mali ba? Nagalo kasi. Panalo ako. Eh, panalo ka pa din. Inom ka na. Sige, sige na. I'm gonna try this grape, green grape flavor. Um, teach me something in Chinese. Okay, Cantonese is the hardest I feel kasi sobrang dami talaga to. And then we have Mandarin. so many strikes. <laughs> Mandarin na lang. Pinaka- Mandarin na lang. Um, okay, okay. What do you want to say again? Isn't it a beautiful day? Or it's a beautiful okay, day. Okay, ano na lang. Kanpei na lang. Which is... Cheers. Campaign. Oh, oh, cheers with you. With, with water. water. Mm. Campaign. I know you're from Hong Kong, right? Yeah. For those of you that don't know, he is actually born in Hong Kong. Mm, I was but... born here. Oh, you were born here? I was born here. Wrong information. Rewind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you were born here, mm-hmm. but you grew up in Hong okay. Kong, 18 years. And what made you want to come back? First of all, because my dad was actually a UP graduate. Ooh. So that's why he was like, hey, Richard, do you want to go to the Philippines or Alumni. Go to the US? Yeah, yeah. My plan in my life was supposed to do business. Mm-hmm. Like, come to the Philippines, study, after after uh, after mag aral, go out to Hong Kong, family business, typical Chinese family. Uh-huh, uh-huh. When I was 18, I didn't know anything. So a brown culture shock. Oh, what's the most important thing? So, para, where okay. the hell am I? Ito, 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 ito. Levels. Okay, this sounds this sounds so spoiled and I'm sorry. <laughs> Rich kids probs, but I'm not gonna first world experience first world problem. Experience, yes, in because Kasi we're so used to aircon everywhere. Ay. So lahat ng rooms that I've ever been to na classroom may aircon. Oh, oh, so pag dating mo sa UP, it's like grabe, bakit ang init? Bakit wala ng aircon? Bakit wala ng aircon? That was my first ever culture shock. Yeah, but I'm like, ah, Number two, siempre, transportation. Mm-hmm. Transportation anywhere you go in Hong Kong, so convenient. MTR, there's mm-hmm. the train, there's a, there's the tram, so many different options. But here, my first two years actually, um, fun fact, I commuted. Going Uy, to UP. Galing. I lived in Parniake. I was oh my to gosh. UP all the time, and I think being myself also being in UP, that's where you see different types of people. Oh my god, like I said, I, I, I love how. Diverse in yes. a way, not in terms of um, co- in terms of culture, as in, in terms of Filipino culture-wise. Mm-hmm. People from province, from different parts of mm-hmm. province, are different. Yung ugali nila, yes. different yung language nila. Yes, dialect. Iba iba ibang yung ane eh? yung yung yung, yung kung saan yes. Yeah. 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 Pinanggalingan. Pinanggalingan. There yeah. we go. Ooh, yeah. I feel like a Tagalog expert today. <laughs> <laughs> you know what made you fall in love, naman, with the Filipino? Culture, country, in a way. Side. I grew up in a Chinoy family, in a way. Mm-hmm. I mean, growing in Hong Kong, a very international, multinational, multicultural con- a city, and then going to international school, though, I feel like I'm a third culture kid. Oh. Where a third culture kid is def- defined as someone who has so many different nationalities, nationalities different melted, culture, yes. inter- um, everything. That you don't really know what culture you belong to, Aww. and I feel like I belong to like a third culture. A lot of international kids are like international school kids are like that. What are the tiny pros and cons that you have about your experience here, whether it be traffic, 
or the no air gun? What what were your pros and cons? We'll get you some tissue first. Let's get some paper towel. No, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, wala na. Game. You, you know what I'm I think in terms of pros in the Philippines, because it's a developing nation where mm -hmm. I feel like there are so many opportunities. What sucks because for me is I feel sometimes I feel like I'm Filipino, mm -hmm. but at the same time I don't feel like I'm Filipino because Filipinos here generally feel na parang I'm not I mean I'm generalizing here but most Filipinos feel like you're only Filipino if you have Filipino blood. Ah, ako kasi wala ng Filipino blood. Uh -huh. What? Pero my family, my dad, my mom both grew up in the Philippines. Yes, you were born here. Yeah, and I was born here, but yet I don't feel accepted in that sense sometimes because. And I get that from bashers from yeah. here. So yeah, I think that's really frustrating and like unfortunate. So hearing that, that makes me even wonder, like what's the what's the worst thing that's ever been done to you or said to you that made you feel excluded or you know? Lalim. Oh, oh. Lang muna. Grabe naman. Ma Don't worry, magsha shot talaga tayo ng madami. Mama ya, sasabihin mo, let's not take the shot anymore. You want to try this one? Sure. I will start for you. Shot po no. Okay na yan. My question to you is, mm. you know, the the meanest. So I think for me the biggest thing that always gets me is when I read comments or you know tweets na parang they always say na bakit why is Richard making this uh, statement about this mm -hmm. about that why is he tweeting about this about that na parang like he has no right to do this and you're shopping knowing. Oh, it hurts. Yeah, it hurts. It hurts. But anyway, nasanay na din ako and I use it as a joke for oh, content oh. sometimes. You make videos. light. You make light. I'm gonna light. Like as in, I mean, there are a couple of videos that I did before na parang. Um, since I've been in the I know you're gonna do I think I've seen some of your shorts with yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just showed them, hey, this is my freaking passport. Yeah, yeah. I'm a Filipino. I can say whatever the hell I want to say. I saw that. You held your Philippine passport and, like, suck it. That kind yeah. of vibe. Yeah, maybe it's like, maybe it's like, exposure na siya sa mga TikTok. Ko. Pero I just kind of got used to it, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And that's the only thing I feel, if not, not, not only, no one of very few things that the bashers can bash me about. But little by little, I do feel, especially like, you know, with everybody loving foreign art, you yeah. know, foreign films, we're coming together. And I'm glad that you stuck it out because we do need you here. And I speak for myself and my roomies that love love. You may not have Filipino blood. You grew up here. You were born, I mean, you didn't grow up here, but you were born here. You have a Filipino passport, but yet, ikaw pa. Kahit ma masungit sila sa yung minsan, ikaw pa yung nag-help mag-discover ng new Filipino talent to bring internationally. Well, well, I mean, putting it that way, but hindi mo no parang discovering them. But it's just that I feel like there are You're so You're sharing them, yeah, like giving them opportunity, right? Yeah, there are so many Filipino talents out here who can sing really well, dance really well, and everyone says that, act really well. But I feel like we're not represented out there. You know? Yes, definitely. We're just as good as anybody, if not better. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like talent-wise. But yet, who's like a homegrown talent that you know is out there? But um, there's very Shanti! few. Shanti! And I yes, Shanti, yeah. I see in the Shanti. And I'm glad we have Shanti as one, you know, one of the first ones, if not the first one in the K-pop industry. And hopefully, there's more to come. And I want to encourage, and I want to try to you know bring someone out there. Um, I mean, I'm I'm no longer the 21 year old stallion. Oh, Gosh, because you're a stallion. No, but you know what? He looks very young. Can you look at the camera? He can still be a high schooler. I feel like I know you're a CEO. Maybe college, na siguro. College, high school. You know, I know you're a CEO, and that's your business life, and it's yeah. very, very serious. But I feel like if you wanted to, as an actor, you could still. You're very. You look very, very young. I I feel like I want to play my part in whatever I can, um, to. Help them. I don't want to say discover. Discover, I feel like it's a strong word. Push. Know, create a path somehow. Yeah. Joe Koy whatever. always says this one thing: like, hold the door open. Mm, like definitely. hold the door for more opportunities for Filipino artists. Yeah. Right. Definitely. I'm, I'm fortunate to have this opportunity to work with CJ and them for Voice Plan in 99. We had we had um, we had an audition. We had 272 auditions. Wow. Filipino. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> they, they signed up, and I mean. I'm just very fortunate to be able to work with CJNM, such a huge Korean company, to to kind of somehow you know 
give an opportunity to Filipinos. Yeah, I love how they're talents. open too. Yeah, I mean, yeah. how did it feel that when you were running the audition, nakikita mo lahat ng 200? Mm. Like, was that inspiring all in itself, seeing the many different talents of everybody? Honestly, it was very inspiring, especially actually because we, syempre, we gave, gave them time slots to be there. Some yes. of them actually came from class, ba? <gasps> came from school. So there was this um, particular person who came from Laguna. From, so from class, he literally traveled all the way to Ortigas at around um, at his his call time was six thirty. That was time slot. No, it's umaga. No, 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 PM. No, 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 PM. No, PM. Yeah, PM. <laughs> Cute. And then when when he called that uh, called our team asking like, hey, can we abu uh -huh, uh -huh. Can I can I? I'm still I'm on my way. Baka traffic. Da, 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 da. He did okay. You know, he did okay. Like I mean, I want him to have that moment where. He will always hold for the rest of his life and say, like he hey, gave it I, all yeah, yes. an audition for a Korean show that is one of the biggest show in Korea in 2023, yes. probably. So, you know, let him have that moment. What's 30 minutes? So, so, yeah, that, that was the, really the most um, most memorable moment. But I'm like, I had to make the decision on do I tell my team that, hey, let's, let's cut, let's cut, let's go home now, or do we want to break someone else's street heart? Yeah. So, that's what we did. And yeah. See, it's all about the tiny choices that you make. and. You know, I know a lot of people do watch Korean TV, but what is this show about? Like, can you tell those who don't know what kind of opportunity um, the Filipino artists are going to be having? So that show is called Boys Planet 999. Mm -hmm. um, it's the boy version of Girls Planet 999, which formed the group called Kepler. Okay, yes, yeah. yeah. Kepler, um, they are a group of nine girls. They came from a competition which had 99 um, contestants, 33 from Japan, 33 from... Korea, 33 from China, and uh, the final nine became Kepler. Mm -hmm. So now they're doing the boy version in 2023, and this time they open it to the world. Wow. So it wasn't just China, Japan, and Korea. Finally, we get a shot. So right? so yeah, so my, my, my company, 28 Squared Studios, we're very fortunate to be working with them, where we were holding the Philippine leg for the audition. And hopefully, you know, um, the audition was last September. Hopefully, I mean, they're still deliberating. Hopefully we get you know one or two or yes. three times. I'm a claim it. Magaling yeah, talaga yung mga Pinoy. Sana meron, sana meron. I mean, I feel I me mean, looking at the list, may chance. So sana, and they were saying at, at least at us as of this moment that we're shooting right now, the last message they told me was they are still finalizing the Korean companies, and then they're gonna look at the others. Yes, the and others, yeah. say. So they're and opening I mean, it up to the world. So yeah. that means each nation, each, each yeah, exactly. Conditions. It really is gonna take some time, and this is coming out next year. 2023, yeah. They're shooting, I think, early 2023, Q1. I'm, I'm super excited. Wala bang ano? Ajuma audition. <laughs> Ajuma talaga. Ajuma audition. Nuna, nuna na naman siguro. Nuna lang. Ani, ani auditions. Just kidding. No, I think that that's great. So far, I think we have about three Filipino K-pop idols, or two, um, as of present. And I would love to see that grow. Shanti and another one. And also, of course, let's not forget Sandara. Oh, who kind that's of true. paved the way. Not kind of. She literally left everything behind here. You know, she's she's a legend. But what I love about her is that she hasn't forgotten yeah. our culture. I know you've worked with her yeah, before. Worked, uh, yeah. This was in 2019, pre-pandemic. We did a show together called uh, Create My Soul. Create My Soul? Yeah, it was aired on TV in Asia. Grabe, we had 24 cameras. And, and there's this scene where we're all sitting lang. Oh, oh and dami. Pa, 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 pa. Alam nyo, one day, mangyayari din dito yan sa DCU. Kasi lalaki yung mga games namin. Pero now, may one, two, three, four oh, cameras lang. Oh, impressed ako dito sa this night. I'm like, wow. For, Sometimes for we have five. Are oh, you not, di ba? <laughs> I remember, we, yeah, we were shooting. There were 24 cameras. I was literally counting. I'm like, wait, one. there's one up there. There's one up there. There's mm -hmm. one here. And then, kasi we were, uh, we were, oh, wait, three, but yeah, we were six people. Yes, because so everybody the, has so everyone, everyone has their own close up. Mm -hmm. Far and shot. Then, far shot and wide shot. shot. And then they. Product. Mr. Saharap lang. Uh -huh. Now, you know, shooting you, us eat. Yes. Yeah, but it's 24 cameras. Okay. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> no, but, but since you brought up, you know, the Korean um, craze, but what made you fall in love with their culture? How did it get started? How old were you? Like, what was the first thing that you watched and saw that got you inspired? Hmm. After you chew this? Ako din. Hmm. Masarap ng food, guys! Hindi ko lang masabi kung saan galing kasi di na lang kami sa pinasponsor. Pero soon, magkakasponsors na tayo. I believe. Diba, Richard, you're gonna help me? Yeah, definitely. For sure. <laughs> I think, you know, this is, this, is, uh, this is the start of something good. I mean, Yay! the fact that, again, the production design here, the effort, the investment, team the D. team. 
Pinagdasal ko talaga to. I know it's tonight, it's not about me, but I just found out we reached 102k today. Yay! It's huh? congrats, congrats. In five months of airing, but we are so honored to have you here on this very special day. But I do want to thank my team. They they are fantastic. They really took a leap of faith. Nobody really wanted to support me in this and thought I was crazy. Because Shepard, not everybody watches, mm -hmm. you know. Stuff like that. But I really did this to highlight, you know, and get people to fall in love with their favorite artists all over again. But I'm proud of you for doing this because but I'm like we need more content that is high production value and hindi lang parang kahit ano lang pinapalabas. Because that's what I strongly believe in. I feel like in order for us as a country, to as grow. an industry to grow, we need to put in effort. Hindi lang parang like kahit ano lang pinapalabas. I mean it's nice to be raw. We are very raw yeah. in emotions here. Yes, right? definitely, definitely. We want to give you guys the best. Oh, yeah. But go, this is about you. Yeah. What made you fall in love? What was the first thing you ever saw or like what got you inspired or hooked on? Like me. The K craze. Um, this is funny because like growing up, we used to call me Hanzai, which means like Korean boy. Oh. Like growing up, and that's and that the thing. The funny thing is, it used to be an insult in Hong Kong. Oh, yeah. People used to make ago. fun of me too for for liking like K stuff. Oh, that's not even that. It's more of like that time. They were also in Korean stuff, and they when you say na Korean, they think that usually hindi hindi bogi. Usually, oh. ano, that kind of ano. Because back then, hindi usu. Bogi kaya nila. During that time, it's not a compliment at all. That was the first time being associated with someone mm -hmm, mm -hmm. since growing up. Did it make you curious? No, no, during that time, I was, it was offensive apparently. Yeah. So, I feel like, okay, sige, being Korean, whatever, it's not a good thing. Yes. But eventually, when things transpired, and then when I started to really pick up this whole Korean stuff, was in 2014, which mm -hmm. is the start of my career. Because that was the time where my love from the start came out. Uh huh. And oh, I always see this all the time. Yeah. Dahil ka mukha mo, see? Kamukha daw. Wait, love. One, two, three. <laughs> Sino ka mukha mo? Sabihin mo nga. Lagi nila sinasabi na kamukha ko si Kim Soo Hyun. And I love him. I, I don't I don't claim it. I don't I know the man. I give him 100% credit in a way that if it wasn't for him, honestly, <laughs> being that popular during that time, I don't think it would have crossed my mind. Entering entertainment. Entertainment. Yeah, I'm like, actually going to ask you that yeah. after. You you actually caught um, what I was yeah. leading to. You, that's how you fell in love with Kate Grace. Did you watch My oh, Love I From watched, the Star? Yeah, I watched a show. Did you I'm like it? And I was like, Dang. I loved it. There were some scenes. Like yeah, there were some scenes where like, why am I crying? Why am I supposed to cry here? <laughs> that's, that's the beauty of Kate yeah. drama. That's, that's how, yeah. They but get you. Yeah, they, they get, get you. They get you, right? Now, Jen, shut up. I, I'm seriously, I'm someone that never cries. I, I have a, such a hard time crying, especially when you're happy. How are you crying when you're happy? That's what I'm going to do. What are you thinking? Sorry! Sorry, sorry! Chan! <sighs> it really took me a while until I, especially during workshop, that's where I started learning how to channel your inner emotions. Because, mm. again, I don't know, was it because of my Chinese family or about Chinese background? We kind of like suppressed our emotions. I think that's a Filipino thing also back in the day. Back Nobody day, would yeah. really talk about emotions or you yeah. kind of keep it Especially under. as a guy. Like, yes. But I'm a stereotype that guys should be strong. We yeah. should not ever show no, emotions. No, real men that. cleanse the soul with their tears. Guys. Nowadays, yeah. Nowadays. <laughs> which, which I'm open. I mean, like now I'm a lot more in touch with my own personal emotions and all that. So I guess when it comes to scenes where I need to cry, I kind of can now. Yeah! I'm not going to cry. But 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 no, 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 you don't have to answer that. Right? Unless you're going to cry. But I'm not going to cry. Because I'm not What makes you cry in, in the moment? What do you think? Honestly, there are two things now that I use. One was my Lola, Aww. and the other is my, my dogs, my two dogs, my two baby dogs. But I'm like, yeah, those are those those are the stuff that gets me, and that's what I kind of use. I you know, know. Like the tea. <laughs> 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 joke, 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 I can't say so I'm gonna do that too. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, you see, that's the thing. Um, I don't sing. Uh -huh. I don't dance. You don't want to learn? I think I'm too old for this. No, <laughs> that's not true. No, no, because like, but I'm gr growing up, like, I'm someone's very practical. I know what I'm not good at. Uh huh. So I don't spend time practicing things I'm not good at. 
So growing up, I knew that I am horrible at music. <laughs> Why? Um, timing, gano? Timing is my worst. <laughs> Like, so, pagsabasayaw kami extra. Ay, just go. Pagsayaw. Pagsayaw. <laughs> paano? Paano yung timing. <laughs> Tapos number two. Number two, matigas pa yung katawan na parang like... Isla, so, paano pag sa asap, pinapagsayaw ka? Ay, kaya yun never na nangyayari. <laughs> <laughs> never yun nangyayari. Hindi, oh. <laughs> parang ganun. Yeah, kasi like when I first started my career um, in entertainment, I remember that they wanted me to sing. How did they discover you? Wait, from okay, the sorry. beginning. Rewind that. Rewind that. Rewind that. Rewind that. Rewind that. In UP, I was super org active. Mm -hmm. I spent so much time on my org. Na parang na, I do this, I do that, and eventually I want to be like the the execom of the org. Mm -hmm. But because of some again, not gonna bore you the details, but because of some internal political issues, they did not award me a certain role that I wanted. Mm -hmm. So I was like, hey, I'm gonna quit. Mm -hmm. So I quit the org, and I was like, oh my god, there's so much time now. Mm -hmm. What the hell do, what do I do? What do I do? Yeah. And that's when uh, Miss International something which you're. Patch Magdano. But um she was the one that told me that hey Richard, do you want to join an agency where they where you can make money from modeling? Because yeah. you already do it for school events. So I went to um, an agency, they were like, okay, we'll send you to casting, blah blah mm -hmm. blah. So I remember doing like two runway shows, three Ooh. or two or three, and I was like, Oh my god, I hate this so much. <laughs> Because like, call time ko, 6 a.m. I'm a morning person. Uh -oh. 6 a.m. Tapa na sa mall na ako. Kasi before the mall opens, that's my rehearsal. Uh -huh, yeah, the para wala makakita. Yeah, yeah. mga model life kanon. So I, I thought, oh my god, this sucks so much. I this sucks so much. So much. And Wait, how tall are you? I'm 5'11 and a half. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, model. Yeah, hey, yeah. but they say that people who don't say that they're 6 if they're 5'11 are people you can trust. Because we could easily say that I'm 6. Yeah. I don't. So, yeah. It's like how I say I'm 5'2, but maybe I'm not. I'm so you're actually 5'1. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm 5'2. And I hated it so much. And then just when I was about to quit um, modeling, I got discovered by Eat Bulaga in, that, way, in, that, in that, um, that year or that same month where I was ready to unknown. The funny thing is, they were looking for Chinese looking guys for their um, Chinese New Year prod where they needed me to literally hit, hit the gong. Yes, yeah. For ano, for parang for the whole opening prod. Uh huh. So I went, did that, and I got paid like X amount. I was like, oh yeah, great, this is extra yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. Because I had And it was easy. Yeah, I had a girlfriend at that time. I was like, oh my god, extra money for dates, perfect. Oh. And then, <laughs> and then sakto sakto, there was a guy there that's parang one of the talent coordinators. They were like, hey, we currently have a segment called You're My Foreigner. Oh my gosh, yeah. I remember that. So they were like, okay, um, maybe. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, I know, I don't, I'm fully Chinese. I grew up in Hong Kong, blah, blah, blah. I remember my mom was super against the film. My mom was like, oh my bucket, god. Bucket, bucket though. Because for her, showbiz is where it's showbiz. Like, but yeah. I'm like, you might get into trouble, you into trouble or you might meet the wrong people if yeah, you're not careful. Exactly. And that's that's her mindset for it. And uh, but my, means yeah, so. my, dad, so my, dad, <laughs> my dad was like, hey, you know, let's try it. If it fails, if you fail, well, I don't know. He trusted you, yeah. Yeah. So I went for it. Because I was like, hey, you know what? Nothing's gonna change if I stay in my That's comfort fine. zone. Yeah. And next thing I know, um, went up there and then I was trending on Twitter. Yeah. The name and all that. When, yeah, when I went backstage, people were like, oh my god, Richard, you're trending on Twitter. Congrats. I was like, what does trending mean again? <laughs> <laughs> because I was, because because during that time I didn't know anything about social media. Yeah, I was yeah. Like, I, was, I was like, I, I mean, I, I don't think I even had Twitter. I'm not, I can't remember. I, I I didn't win the competition. Yes. My four yes. But I was the most popular one, mm -hmm, where mm -hmm. they got me back to to host. Ooh! So they got me ho they got me back to host for like a segment called Pinoy Henio. Yeah. Oh, okay, I remember oh, yeah. this. Yeah. So this was a time na parang ang hirap ng schedule. Wasay parang in the morning I would go to class. Nagaaral ka. Tapos pupunta ako sa I mean, well, I'll fly to oh, like Broadway. To Broadway right? Central. Yes. We met you malapit naman ng very. Met you malapit. Oh. Yeah. Pero palagi sa yung afternoon class ko, parang lagi ako late siyong mga thirty minutes. <gasps> Pero, the stress. Yeah. Um, my prof wasn't. I'm um, very happy about it initially. So let's say a thank you to your prof thank right you so now. Much. Do you remember his name? Anyway, so my prof sa UP na nagbigay daan yeah. para magwork ang lahat. Well, the I'm, girls, thank you. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. So so yun, and that's where everything started for me. Of course, I was guesting at a couple of GMA shows, and after graduating, I remember there's an opportunity to 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 audition for BBB. Ooh, I remember this. Yes. Next thing you know. <laughs> well, I'm gonna stop you right there because I do have a segment prepared ready for that. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm gonna okay. let you take a few bites to pass mukshu shot tayo because we have another segment. Ta -da! We have moved on to the next course, Dali. How do you keep doing this? I know, right? We have a uh, make your own s'mores, but also just like watching a movie, I'm gonna have you reacting to some old videos and photos. Old videos of you or me? Of why would I have 
have you react. <laughs> no, that's why I told you to hold that because I wanted you. Wag ka mo na. I'm gonna make you a s'more. Akala ko ba ayaw mo ng sweet things? Nahirit ako. I'm a sweet. I like, I like sweet things. Okay, okay. But not sweet things to eat. Okay, never mind. No, 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 no. no. But anyway, let's have you. <laughs> While I'm making you a s'more. Let's react and tell me about these old videos. Kaya kita pinatigil sa pagtitik chat. Ooh, what's that cute thing? Ayo eh. Kita mo yan. Do you need glasses, ba? Oh, Bimba. Yes, oh, that's Shucks. my boy. Shocks. <laughs> Shocks. Shocks talaga. Oh my god. You know, I can see the innocence in the eyes. You don't see it now? I, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. I do. <laughs> Oh my god, why am I dancing? Kaya mo naman pala sumayaw! Oh my god, ang tumbling ba ako? Buisit. Buisit ba? Oh my god, it made me like, What was I wearing? Definitely. Kapayapaan. Kapayapaan. Tell me all about it. I see the youth, I see the rawness, I see, you know, innocence. I mean, not that I don't see it, the, you know, the twinkle in your eye still, yeah. How do you feel watching, watching all of that? I mean, there were so many flashbacks, actually. I remember being nervous at the backstage. I mean, if you ask any of my friends back in middle school, high school, Richard on TV performing, dancing, singing a Filipino? They could never picture it? They could never, ever. Like, it'll never cross your mind. Because I was an introvert back then. I mean, I feel like I still am. Or more of like an introvert. Your friends would never have thought to see you on TV. Never in a million years. And on a variety show at that. Oh my god, yeah. Because no. like growing up, I've always been an introvert type person that I would never. Oh yeah, bloodshot that. So growing up, my my friends, I've always been an introvert type of person where I still kind of am, but at the same time, my friends will always think that I'm someone that knows I want to do business. Mm -hmm. Businessman, a businessman. Yeah, because that's how my parents raised me. Grabe of all the things that you could be doing. Yeah, like you were a decent looking guy. But you were, yeah. You're a decent yeah. looking guy. Let's just say you're good looking. No, no, no. You're no, 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 decent. No, like I said, Samuel, no, you're a decent looking guy, but you're not always the most foggy person in school but during that time. Oh, because hindi pa uso yung K wave para sa Parang kanila. Ganun. You're a decent looking guy. You're, 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 you know, you would get far in life because you're smart, etc., etc., but not in entertainment. Yeah, we never thought. Really. Yeah. If you look at yourself, because you're watching younger you, right? Yeah. Would you go back and change? Anything at all, like whatever, small or big, whatever. I think there are definitely things I, w I wish I changed, mm -hmm. for sure. Like? A lot of things that I do, I never truly give 100%. Mm? Why? Because I always spread myself very thin and do a lot of different things. Is that something that you like or you wish you could work on? Like sometimes I think about it, is it better if I just go all in on one thing mm. than do like 80%, 80%, 80%, like three, four, five different mm -hmm. things. I, I get, I understand that yeah. as a multifaceted person as yeah. well. For example, with showbiz during my earlier years, I was always hesitant in terms of like going full on 100% because mm -hmm. I was like, Full on artista. But I'm like, I like this. Uh huh. I enjoy this. Like, I don't know if I enjoyed myself during those times, especially when I started doing um, acting at the start. But mm -hmm. I'm like, 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 I'm <laughs> Pre-pandemic, guys, for those of you who don't know, we would really tape 24 hours, four times a week without loss of being able to go home. Yeah. Somebody that likes to to um, balance their yeah. time. Mahirap yun yeah. to tape. During that time. So, but I'm like, again, you know, it's me trying new things. And I always say this, amazing things happen once you leave your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. So, I'm glad I left my comfort zone no matter what. And I, I'm glad I tried so many things. But at the same time, it makes me think, what if I committed 100% in to just acting? 100% in hosting, 100% in something. Yes. And then maybe take one step to the other, to the other, and see where it would lead me to. So if you could go back, what was that one thing you would give 100% to? I guess, looking back, I don't know. I mean, do I want to do that? I don't know. Because mm -hmm. I'm happy with where I am now. Yes. I'm not ecstatic, but like, yeah, I'm you're, happy. You're content. I'm, I'm content, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm content, but I'm hungry for more. Yes. Because if you're not hungry for more, you're just going to be stagnant. And that's like as good as death. Sorry. Yeah. That's the truth. Yeah. And for me, I've always been someone A grower. Who, yeah, I've always... <laughs> no, I did No! Okay, oh my gosh. Why did you think of... I saw your thought process. What are you talking about? Girl, I said like you thought I was going to go taller. What are you talking That was my first thing. I was very PG. 
No, I don't know what that means. Okay. Why? What? Ano 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 And getting secondly, older. yeah, I don't think you're getting older because I feel like when I look at you, you're in your early 20s. Correct. So don't worry. Namumula siya dahil madami siyang ininom at yun lang. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Ay nagpa-blush. Tsaka nasa growing face ako, di ba? Is there any specific moments I want to change? Honestly, I don't want to change anything, but I will always have thoughts about what ifs. Mm -hmm. What ifs in a way, hey, what if I committed to this? What if I did this? What if I took this other path? But it doesn't matter because it led me to where I am now. Yeah, and you, you wouldn't be who you are now. Exactly. And you always have this thought about what if, but it doesn't matter. You can always think about it. It's nice to think about it, but you always think forward. How do you move forward? How do you grow? Yeah, you and grow you know who's to say you can't <laughs> learn or do what? <laughs> Growing is good. I'm a cheers very sweet, innocent person. Yes, hence why I cheers to growing. Mm. To growing and getting bigger and leading to big, better and bigger things. <laughs> I want you to tell me about oh, this. Cheers, Nanga. Oh, PBB house. You gotta tell me what that was like. Ang kabalang hair ko dito, see? Parang ganyan lang. Oh my god, ano mo ang kabalang hair ko dito? Kasi like, we were, I was in there for three months. Makapag sanay. Hey, baby boy! Ano ba to? Ano mo na tunatunan? Ah, yung toothpaste! Ah! Isang. Toothpaste. This is kind of stupid, so... That's why we picked it! <laughs> Why are you making my muscle muscle bone? Whoa! Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm cringing. Can we move on? <laughs> I'm cringing. No, Don't cringe! You gotta own it! Oh my god, this was one of those stupid moments. That I We've felt. all done some cringy things. But look at the look at the sweetness. Look at the uh, in the passion. Yes, scrub a dub a dub. <laughs> How did you get into the PBB house? Why and what was it like being in there? Because, you know, you got cameras in the bathroom, you got cameras everywhere. First week was hard. First week was hard. First Why? Week was so hard. You're an introvert, so. First week was so hard in a way that. Well, I imagine you go to the bathroom, you're pooping, you're. Wee -wee -ing, yeah, okay, so I never revealed this stuff. before, but they did ask me if I wanted to join a, a recent PBB. But I really wanted to because I knew it'd be so fun. But the only thing that stopped me was the cameras in the bathroom. The bathroom in the loo. Why? What do you mean, why? No, no, okay, but the thing is, because they, oh yeah, because it covers that. Oh, oh no, man, it's but there's still somebody. Now. For the whole duration in the house, I shower with the like underwear. See, as an OC person like me who is cowboy and doesn't mind rolling in mud and whatever, I do enjoy my showers. But I, I don't think I would be extra clean if you I shower with... You only have four minutes or five minutes to shower every single freaking day. So oh, it was easy for me. I'm your like, guy. Yeah, it's easy for me, but like for other girls and like other guys, it took so long. I really want to do everything else but the showering. No, I mean, I, honestly, you probably should have taken that chance to do it. And after you're done, I know after like one week, two weeks, you're like, hey, well, I'm tired, that's it. I'm going to do it. But I'm experienced with it. But I'm not. No, because I know I like. I have. I would. I know I would have so much fun. Yeah. It's just the bathroom part. Why the bang? Kuya. Yeah. Why kuya? Kuya. Kuya. Ni ba pwede ng yung sa CR? Ni naman ako magchichite. You said you were cringing, and you were questioning yourself. Was that the first time you ever did that your whole entire life? Were you nervous? What not? Like wasabi toothpaste? No. For me, because Bahay ni Kuya is a magical place where they make you do. Magical place. They make you do the craziest thing. It was the week where we had to be geishas. Bagay. Hindi bagay. Hindi bagay. Hindi bagay. As in, that was a time where I'm like. Grabe, sino ang sobato? Ba't ko ito ginagawa? And that was the whole week, I was so, I was in such a BV mood. BV siya. Imagine, imagine, ako, ako pa, ako yan. Did you tell Kuya na ayaw mo yan? I did tell him once, I think. I don't know if na-air ba siya, but like, I hate putting like, things on my face. I was, every single day, I had to put white stuff on my face. He's not wearing makeup, by the way. I don't know what makeup look like. Yeah, I don't know what makeup look like. Wait, wait, baka may mga skincare brands. Yeah. Baka naman gusto ni Leo, marami naman dyan. Well, but yeah, so so that was that was a horrible experience. But I'm glad, you know, eventually I got to become a host also. Yes, I did see that. I did see that. Yeah, I'm grateful to Kuya Dev. So any any tips out there to anybody that would want to audition for PPP? 
oh, you just gotta be your real self. Like, mm-hmm. you can fake the first week, honestly, but after that, lumalabas na lang ng ugali mo. Lahat ng tunay na kulay. Oh, lahat ng tunay na kulay. Hindi mo kaya yan. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. My first week, I remember I was trying to be conservative, trying to be like, you know, trying to portray a certain Good boy thing. with an eye. Good boy naman ako talaga. Ah, sorry. Oh, good boy naman talaga. Like, no matter what, you just gotta be yourself in the house. Kasi if you're not real to yourself, lumalabas yan. You cannot fake anything. Kuya, baka naman yung CR. Alam niyo, yun lang talaga nagtipigil sa akin pumasok dun eh. Next clip, please. Ayan. Ah, numerous events. Ayan. Numerous, numerous photos of events. Why do I see you in every event? Tell me why. Uh, Tell me why. Okay. Um. Last one was the Chaung, my baby's event. Yeah, oh my god, Chaung's face, my god. Why is his face so small? Like, I don't get it. Like, how? Buti na lang maliit din yung face ko sa tabi ng face. Face natin, face natin. natin. Face natin maliit naman talaga, face natin. Like, I felt fat. My, at least my face was fat. You're not fat. But I mean, so why do I keep seeing... Tell me, is this part of your okay. business? Like, what's it like? Who's the sweetest person you've ever met? Who's the chillest? And who's the, like, most intimidating? Like, all of that. Tell me everything. In 2017, 2018, I was like, okay, I was hosting this. I was um, acting here, acting mm-hmm, there. Mm-hmm. And I felt like it wasn't me doing what I wanted to do. I wanted to do okay. stuff that I really enjoyed. So yes. I started doing a lot more um, social media stuff. And that was uh-huh. after the boom of social media. Then. Yes, yes. And that's where I started doing videos and all that, etc. etc. I was looking for different things I want to do outside of the Philippines. Mm. So I got to connect with people in Hong Kong. And people in Hong Kong, they were like, Hey, Richard, we need people like you. You can speak Cantonese fluently. Some of can speak English fluently. And even Mandarin fluently. So that's where my whole adventure of meeting all these different celebrities and working with them started. Uh, one of my very first celebrities I ever met that we worked together was Sir Paul Smith back in Hong Kong. Ooh. Like he's a legendary British, you know, yes. uh, uh, fashion designer. One of my first few, like when I started venturing into fashion at yeah. a, as a preteen was... I was very lucky to interview him, had a little interaction legendary. with him. Legendary. And uh, my God, that guy's like 70 plus, but yet he has so much energy. Energy? Grabe. I'm he telling you, we're not old. People started noticing, that, oh Richard, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? So I got to interview people. I mean, got to talk. I mean, got to meet um, different people like um, oh, uh, Victoria's Secret Angel, see C- 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 Taylor Hill in Hong Kong, wow. and then um, I got to uh, I got to meet you know, Jackson Wang. Ooh, oh, I that was Jackson. That, that, Jackson was a coincidence actually, because Jackson was also from Hong Kong, from God. Yes, yes. I met him coincidentally because he was in Harbor City for like another like a small dinner thing. Yes. And he was messaging my other friend, and she and and he was like, Hey, I'm in Harbor City. Da-da-da-da. And my friend was like, hey, you want to meet Jackson? So we were like, yes, okay, let's I go, let's meet go. Jackson. And then we were like, okay, we went there and we took a photo, we had a quick interaction. I was very lucky, I got someone, I met someone from backstage and, and then we saw each other again. It's like, oh my God, yeah, Richard, you know, and all that we, stuff. Yeah, we met So, but I'm like, and he, I had to remind him where we met and it's like, oh my God, yeah, I met you, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. He's cool people. He's cool. He seems he's like cool, cool people. He's, he's cool, he's cool. He, he, he's, he, he remembers people. That's, I yes, think that's, that's, and he's that's very nice. humble. Very humble and, and he's very, I know, he's, he's very talented. He's Smart. He's smart. He's he, super he speaks smart. a lot of different languages. It's like, yes. it's like, but I'm, that's why I relate to him in a way because he went to a school in Hong Kong too. But yeah, um, where, where was I? No, you were telling me <laughs> who the most interesting people that you have met. Shapa! I married to Jen. Shapa! Shapa, 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 Shapa. Like, that? who are the most interesting people that you Ooh. got a chance to meet? Or, oh, 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 wait, Sorry, interview. Um, at Jackson Wang, we were at Victoria's Secret Model, we were at Chao Nu. The most fun, I think, I would, would be the one where I shot in Korea. With Sandara and Sandara. June Park. And June Park. Oh. Yeah, that was my first experience shooting Jay in Korea. Park? June Park. June Park. June Park. He is the OG K pop people. G O D, like before. Yeah, for, before it before all. Before everything. Like that. Like if you know G O D, you're an OG. But okay, so Jackson Wang, Paul Smith, Victoria's Secret Models, ja- um, um, Sandara, June Sandara. Park. Who else? Ah, uh, well, I feel like the good. list is like hella long. Oh, I gotta meet Bam Bam too. Bam Bam. Um, this when he, when he had his concert in Thailand. Just recent. Uh, no, not here, but in Thailand. But yeah, recently here also I saw him at the backstage when they did K-pop Masters. I think mm-hmm, it was. Mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. I feel like I'm just very blessed and very fortunate to meet the right people at the right time. I mean, because when I was younger, I was always introvert, I'm more of like an ambivert. So. It's, it's, yeah, you're an ambivert now, and yeah. it's a blessing that you're a melting pot of all of these different yeah. international cultures. Who was the most na starstruck ka and the most interesting? Wow, starstruck. Right. Starstruck was ano? Alam ko na to. Si Benedict Cumberbatch. <gasps> I interviewed Benedict Cumberbatch, and I was the last one that day to interview. Ooh, him. Were you nervous? I was nervous because 
I know he's, he's tired, tired as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the disadvantage when he right? like, yeah. But you know, so so I remember him. I started shock when I when I went when I went to the room. I was like, my heart was pounding. <laughs> I was racing. I was like, oh my god, am I gonna you know stick screw to the this questions? up? So or, it up. Yeah. No, but that was my first and only time I think he was the last. And he was I was the last person. Eh? How was he, the man? He was a good he was, sport. He was, he was, he was chill. graceful. Super chill. Super yeah, chill. super chill. Super chill. It was, he it seems was like. Oh wait, no, 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 no. No, no, the Starshot was Gordon Ramsay second. Gordon, Gordon Ramsay. Ramsay! Oh man, I just remembered. Okay, Gordon Ramsay was no. Starshot was Ben Cumberbatch, but feeling nervous was Gordon Ramsay. Okay, like, tell me why both. Okay, Gordon Ramsay was because I mean it's Gordon Ramsay. Like yes. everything you see online is him about saying your stupid idiot sandwich. Yeah. If so, you were if you were to copy, let's both copy like, and cut out like, just like Gordon Ramsay, right? We're gonna bleep it you're anyway. Like a <laughs> more. <laughs> Like it's like, like I remember like an idiot. There was a meme about him saying like, you're an idiot sandwich, you know. So that kept running in my mind, and I was like, oh my god, is he gonna say that to me? I feel like it might be a persona that he was doing. Yeah, because he was really chill with that kind. He was super time. nice. He wasn't telling me. Oh, he wasn't in work mode like in the kitchen. That's why. He wasn't in like show mode maybe. Mm. I don't know, but he was super calm anyway. You know, he was coming to me. He was like, hey Richard, you know, we're just gonna have a quick chat, chill, nothing too serious. Oh, he told you in the beginning. That's so nice. You probably saw that. I was like, not a lot of artists give you like the down low before you start. Yeah. And that makes you more nervous. So for him to like give you reassurance that everything's gonna be okay. Yeah. Who was the local artist na nung namit mo talaga na star? May may X factor yung artist na yun. Talagang na na pa wow ka. Bukod sa akin, of course. Siguro si ano, si sino ba ito? Si Dennis Lauder. Wow! Jagging! Eee! Ah! Ah! Nagaw si na si. No, I think, um, hmm. Yung talagang, was it Papa P? Was it, uh, Oh my God, Papa P is so cool. Bea? I met him officially. I love him. I'm not love him. He's like my brother. I officially met him in Singapore recently. He's probably one of the chillest, chillest person coolest. that I didn't expect him to be. But he's Papa Pina. It was like, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. He's the coolest. Like, I remember he was pouring me shots, and I was like, I can't say no to Papa P pouring me of shots. Of course. You, you know, better drink. You better drink. You better drink. <laughs> he never drink. does that to anyone. But he won't, he won't pressure you, Nama. Yeah, yeah. Papa P is like the coolest. No, no, he doesn't pressure you. But you, but feel you the make pressure. yourself pressured <laughs> because he's your sambe, right? And he's Papa P. Yeah, exactly. Sambe means like senior. Yeah, like yeah. how often do you get Papa P to pour your shots? So I'm like, okay, so you know. But sobrang kunya, he's my workout buddy, my brother yeah. forever. Aside from him, sino pa yung talagang namit mo na parang wow, she um, or he has star quality in person. No, I think Anna, si si Anna din si Christopher Vidal actually. Yeah. <gasps> oh, he she, has this certain yeah, he aura, like you know. Christopher is amazing. Diba? He's 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 a veteran actor that he's seen it all. He has this charisma. Yeah. But then he's also very humble. Yeah. Very funny and game. Tito Christopher, is here. He's really and he's yeah. very like strikingly good looking. His aura. Yeah. Like when Kate Parks is doing aura. Oh yeah, yeah. Make correct, correct. Siya, May yeah. Panchak, panchak, like glowing, whatever. And especially because I think with um, Tito Christopher, talaga, like he, you've seen him do so many different things and different characters. You're the person that does so many characters. Ang galing. How do you do this? Aturo ko. <laughs> but okay, sa K-pop, naman, sino yung pinaka talagang na wow ka? Um, na wow ako talaga sa. Wait, before we answer that. I saw you post two signed albums from Blackpink. <laughs> <laughs> did you meet them or did you just get a signed copy? Not this trip, but I met them before. <gasps> I watched them before. It's Blackpink, Venom, it's Blackpink. Just kidding, go ahead. What about Venom? Venom, Venom. Oh, what about Venom? Venom, Venom. Kill this love yet, yeah. Venom, man. Yeah. Oh man, I tried dancing that. I was like, nope, never mind. I tried dancing. Yeah. No, I was told because like, we would get to have a like, quick conversation, mm -hmm. individual photos. Mm -hmm. But because it was. It was Blackpink. Yes, and of it course. Was scheduled tight yes, and all of that. Course. So what happened was like a group photo. Aww. And you know, we're photo naman kami. Yeah, we had yeah. a quick interaction and that's it. Funny thing is, I didn't feel starstruck, but I just felt it was a blur. Yeah. Like, you were like on it autopilot. It just happened. I was like, wait. Yeah, same with that? me. That same with me. And, and we're too busy trying not to rock the boat, yeah, right? And not yeah. make a mistake and not tick anybody off yeah. by following protocols. Like it was the same when I met Shawnu. I was just like, I'm gonna say. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, like before yeah. you knew it's over, but you just remember their faces. Yeah. Who was the like most memorable aside from Blackpink? 
Um, I think, I mean, for in sure. In K-pop, huh? Yeah, besides, siguro besides Dara and June, because I got to work with them. Mm-hmm. Siyempre, that's pinaka-memorable. Mm-hmm. Si... Oh, I think si ano to. Si... Si Yusei si, Mas Yusei siguro si Chao and Wu din. Oh, kasi Mas Yusei. Kasi parang like, nagulat ako talaga sa kanagalit yung mukha niya. So, parang, I, I, he's one of very few guys who I would say like, damn, God damn. is unfair. <laughs> I'm a very... Have you met Park Seo Joon? No, not yet. Seo Joon na... Sana, sana, one day. Okay, oh, uh, dalhin, dalhin mo ko. Dalhin mo ko with you. Kano mo yung mag-manifest? Put it out to the world. Park Seo Joon na. Park Seo Joon, I'll see you soon, okay? Park Seo Joon na. Like, I mean, there are only five guys that I would... Go, I, let's I, rename. Would say, okay. Five guys. That First I, one. Yeah, five guys who I would say... Damn, I want to be like them because they're so bald. With no particular order. Because they're all just like one group. V. Ooh, I love V. Jungkook. Oh, I love Jungkook. Chao Nu. Uh, okay, so we're sorry. So, Park Seo Joon. Chao Nu. Park Seo Joon's not part of this. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, part of my, part of my, <laughs> okay. Uh, no particular order. V. Jungkook. Uh, Chao Nu. Ah. Uh, Jackson and Chanyo. Chanyo. Oh, yeah, Chanyo. in fairness. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. So and then this six, is base, six. And six uh, Richard won. Oh! Ikaw yun eh. So, ginasta mo yung sarita. So, now that you mentioned V, and we talked about Blackpink, mm-hmm. if you had one chance, one only, to collab with them, Collab to it. I don't think I can collab. Tanta? Sayaw? Basta collab to your heart's desire for 5 to 10 minutes. Who would it be? BTS or Blackpink? I remember Blackpink for me. Because it's like... It's that pink just... and it's... And you I mean, but no, but, 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 for sure, so but for sure we're not dancing, by the way. For sure we're not dancing, we're not singing. But just me in a 10 minute video of me just like... <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> No, I love them too. I love them both. I love V. I you go love... back, go back. You have to say no. I mean, one long, one long. I feel like if I were to collaborate with them, maybe to sing, but I would collaborate with them. I want to be their stylist, makeup artist, PA, so I can spend more time with them. <laughs> and, then, mm. and then, or. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Okay, pwede magdalawa. Well, pero mababasa kailang, ko pero at aawain na ako kung Pero kailangan mo mag-shot ng dalawa pag you choose one long. That doesn't make any sense. Then we'll just shut the other time. No, we'll shut up on this up. We'll shut up on the other one because you're not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. Making its own rules. Okay, fine. But we'll shut the other time on the other one. I would pick both. Oh, so the other one shut up. What would you want to be known for more if you had all talents at your disposal? As in, Binigay, sabi ni God, kahit anong gusto mong gawin, pwede mong gawin. What would you be? Would you be um, an idol that sings and dances? Would you be an actor? Would you be a host? Would you be, um, you know, what would you be? If I get to choose three. Yeah, you could choose whatever. Like, as in, I have maximum talent in all of them. Yeah, you can do anything. I think I would go for actor. Actor? Right. What's a dream role? I've always wanted to play Han Ji Pyong's role. In startup, the third party, na parang everyone's rooting for the underdog, but yet didn't make it. I didn't even get to go there. I was gonna ask you like your projects of late. Which one is your favorite? You know, I think my project of late is definitely BBB recently. Because parang BBB as a host is it, it's such a privilege to be honest. To be yeah, from BBB. cast member to host, yeah. you know you, what I you mean. Get to know, you get to know a lot of secrets. <laughs> Yeah, maraming, maraming so, ko, yeah. That for me is my proudest moment, I would say, in showbiz. To be part of the host, to be one of the hosts, you know, not the main host, but one of the hosts at least, is honestly such a privilege. No, because like, if, if there's one thing that you guys have to know about me, is like, I want to do so many things see, in my life. We are jack of I all feel, traits, but yeah. a master of all. Can you believe me? I mean, I want to get into like, Thanks. like, when it comes to business, okay. <laughs> And cross! <laughs> what else do you want to do? And you said you want to do so many things. Oh, ano yung yeah. many things na yun? No, because like right now I'm doing so many things already. Uh oh. But that is like part, that is like one third of all the things I want to do. Like I want to 
I want to I want to study crypto. I want to go back to school to study about like science. I want to nice. I want to I want to do philanthropy. I want to um, do so many other things. But we all only have 24 hours True that. day. Like if there's one thing that I can, I wish I can realistic is freaking time. If I can buy time, yes, like, yes. I can have 48 hours in the time. I would be great. But anyways, um, what I want to do next is I mean, honestly with my company when it comes stable, when it comes um, once that thing is set, I want to dive into like. You know, sometimes I want to do politics. Not really? gonna lie to you. Not gonna lie to you. Well, I mean, sometimes he did study for it. it. So a yeah. lot of people out there have become politicians, but have not studied squat about politics. Like so. honestly, like I want to get into politics because I, I mean, I really want to promote Philippines to the world. Let's put it this way: like, growing up in Hong Kong, Philippines was never a sexy country to the world. But Quite we're sunny. sexy out here. No, Just that's the, exactly that's the thing. <laughs> there are a lot of beautiful. Beaches and beaches. <laughs> There's a lot of bitches out here. No. There's a lot of beaches out there, here. No, there are and we all bad. There are a lot of like beautiful Double beaches and up. bitches. <laughs> 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 and Serious, and serious, serious right. talk. Legit, okay, legit talk. Okay. But there are a lot of like beautiful things in the Philippines. Yes. But yet all people know from the outside world. They don't know that there are so many magandang beaches, mountains, nature, stuff that you can see out here. And for example, like if you go to Australia, you ask them, hey, what do you know about the Philippines? They don't know anything. We yeah. ask them, do you know anything about Indonesia? But, oh yeah, Bali. Sometimes I dream about or fantasize rather about getting into politics because I feel like if I'm in politics, I can change. Yeah, but you know what? I have good news for you because in my family, we have this thing where we have a deal. None of us have entered politics anymore in the, in the next generation. I never talk about this because I'm a long line of um, historical heroes, right? Mm -hmm. But we have an oh, agreement. Oh, I think I, I, think I know <laughs> it's, that. In our family, we have um, a, kind of like a talk where we just share that you don't have to have um, a position to help. And I already feel like you're doing that because you don't have a position yet, but you're already bringing Filipinos abroad. Yeah, I you're do already creating opportunities for them. So I'm so excited for your future. But there's so much more I want to yes, do. Yes, there's so much more you can do. I feel like, you know, if you can share the Philippines with yeah. the world, that would be fantastic. And I also do know a lot of Filipinos are in Hollywood right now making a name for themselves. We got Inigo Pascual. We got um, so many more movies coming out with Filipino be that. Yeah. If that's your mission, I support you. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's something I really want to, to change in a way. I want to encourage people to, to see the beauty, you know, in the mm -hmm. Philippines. I mean, I can somehow, hopefully, one day, if I'm stable enough for myself, for my career, for my life, somehow change that perception. Yeah, and get of what people, people to help you. Also, yeah. as an entertainment industry as a whole, we have so many talented people, but yes, yet no yes. one really recognizes that outside. You know, I see that. I see that part yeah. now. It makes more sense, also, why you are creating more awareness about Filipino talent and I totally appreciate that about you Daljan. Yeah. Much shot Tayo because I've had so oh, much congrats. fun talking to you tonight and I really want to cheers oh. to kulang yung shot ko. Oh, I you know nagtigisang ano tayo. I want to cheers to your future and I want to cheers to the future of the Filipinos that you're going to be holding the door for. And I I'll want to try thank my you. Best. Yes. I'll try my best. We will all try our best to create a great um name for talented Filipinos out there. What do you want to say to every talented Filipino out there? I think honestly my wish for everyone is everyone in the Philippines, you know, like I, I wish we can be recognized globally with what we can show the world, what we can represent to the world, what we can bring to the world. Not There's here in so, this room. Yeah, no, Your brain ko hindi yeah. kaya. Go ahead. There, we have so much to offer. The fact that we speak yes. speak English as a country. Yes, people like, come here to learn how yeah, to speak English. Our national language is English is such a huge advantage, but yet we don't take advantage of that. I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting too no, political. No, I feel you. No, I feel you. It's not just yeah. political. It's it's humanitarian because yeah. I feel like the reason why I started this room was because I wanted Filipinos to fall in love with their own local Amen. artists as well. Amen. Just like how we fall in love with foreign artists. That's why I created spaces like this for people to be safe to open up Amen. because I want them to see the charm and talent of local Filipinos. So I think we're in line with that and I cheers to everybody's future. We put all our good, let's put all our positive vibes into everybody here. Cheers to everybody. Cheers everybody. Kampai, salute, cheers, chan. Gosh, who would have thought that we were neighbors this whole time and we have so much in common and we didn't get to spend time together. Exactly. I'm so glad I got to spend time with you today. Thank you so much. I'm so inspired. Just and... Yeah, but I'm so inspired by, by everything that you shared with me today. You know, in such a um, short period of time, you've done so much. 
and you've you've created so many waves and ripples for other people to be able to have movement. To I try, I try. This time. But would you want to say anything to our roomies out there and all Filipinos before we go? Guys, hindi siya Pinoy sa dugo, pero dito siya pinanganak. Wag niyo nang questionin kasi kakalabanin ko kayo. Mm. Mm. Ano? <laughs> May Filipino passport siya. Ano? Oh. <laughs> I, think, I mean, I remember I did a TED talk about this also. But Ooh, like, what it means what's an to honor a, to do a TED yeah. talk. Like what it means to be a Filipino. Like for me, for me, being a Filipino does not come from the blood. It comes from the heart, by the way. But like what you represent, what you believe in. Filipinos can are beautiful. Do it too. Are beautiful. Yeah. We can do it too. And hindi lang kailangan sa abroad palagi kana lang. So that we can be proud of what we do out here. What we have, and that be enough. Yes. And Filipino that, that recognition be. be enough. Just like how other countries do it, their own recognition for their own culture is enough. Correct. Hindi tayo seek sa iba. Correct. And I hope you know. I hope one day that us also then in a way. Would represent the world, you know. So hopefully, one day we will become a a country where people want to visit the Philippines. People want to see what we have in the Philippines. We want to see the, our our beaches and beaches. Salang magisang tumotaw. Yeah. So I, I thank you on behalf of our people, including yes, yourself. I want to say thank you for spending time with us today and know that you guys are loved. Filipinos are talented. Filipinos are loving. Filipinos are beautiful. Their original color of their skin is beautiful. Everything about you is beautiful. All you have to do is own it. And I'm here, I believe in you. He believes in you. A lot of people believe in you. So let's not look to other countries to believe in ourselves. My wish for you is that uh, you have a good night and that you've had so much fun spending time with us. Pina ito ka na ba? Oh, pa araw na! Mama yung may... But yeah, thank you for coming and joining us. Can you please invite everybody to follow your, your company, your own personal account, and to watch the shows that are coming out soon, especially the ones where they can audition for. So um, guys, thank you so much for being. First of all, thanks so much for having me. I mean, it's good to us for finally hang out the at connect. the condo. Yeah, area, yeah, it's the know, common area. Common area, like you can see in the gym, the workout, the intimidator. Oh, they like it. Wow. Do you want to magandang babae na to? Yes, <laughs> guys, magandang babae. Oi, oi. And then, and then yun. So um, of course, guys, um, thank you so much for support. Also, please continue um, supporting these channel here at these night and sometimes for other these room, you know, yes, these room. Yes, these room. Uh, I was gonna say something else, but never mind. No, <laughs> big D <But> energy. <laughs> uh, big D energy. Go. <laughs> no, big D energy. Big D energy. <laughs> <laughs> the, and, the, and the growing channel, right? <laughs> and of course, please also support me on my different stuff yes. that I do. Um, you can check out all the updates on Richard Juan, <laughs> RSC, <laughs> <That's ARD. laughs> oh, <laughs> or the growing D. I, <laughs> I, I am so happy to have had you here with me today and you roomies too. We hope that we, he inspired you because he definitely inspired me. I wish you all a D night. Bye. 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 Come on, Let's come on, the Let's go on, the D. Let's go on, the D. Channel. The wait, habang nandun ut pa sila may question ako sa yung. Okay. Dahil madami kang nami meet na celebrities. Tutulungan mo ako to interview them also. Sure. Sabi ka. Sure.